All right, so here we are at my pepper bed. And uh, I said I was gonna come through and do a harvest, but I'm actually gonna do a true harvest. I'm gonna bring you along so you can see what I'm finding right now. Cause I got so excited after just being in here for, for two minutes. Um, and I can't wait to go through the rest of this uh, four by 12 foot bed and see what we get. So why don't I bring you around here and you can see what I'm picking. In my much neglected garden that needs to be weeded it needs to be cleaned out the tomatoes are practically all dead but as you can see my rosella plant is still just thriving i doubt i'm gonna get anything off of this plant but god i just love the way it looks if it survives i'm gonna bring this inside with that size i'm fine uh, my sweet potatoes on the trellis are still doing great and if you look at the very top there if I can zoom in a little bit for you my dragon fruit is doing amazing I can't believe how well it's doing in this climate uh, maybe it, it just does and I didn't know that but uh, I, I love it anyway but here we're out here to pick um, peppers and my peppers are just exploding I it's been a while since I've been out here and I can't believe how many peppers are on all these plants. And we're just gonna start snipping them away and we're gonna see what our haul is. I know that these ones here are a decent hot cherry pepper. So that's beautiful. That's right where I wanna pick them. Marker, it's the Coronado, I don't know, okay. But it's a nice, big, great, oh, look at this one right here in the front. Woohoo! And I think this one's actually turning yellow. So maybe I should have left them, but I don't know, whatever. It looked like a good pepper. I'm gonna try to just pick some other ones that have a lot of good color to them. And, oh my goodness gracious. Let's see what this pepper is. This is the uh, Jimmy Nordello. And let me take a look at this. Now I'm gonna tell you, I did a really bad job of cataloging all these peppers that I'm growing. And uh, every time I pick them, it's kind of like Russian roulette. You take a bite and you go, whoa, that's a hot one. We'll find out with these. But this bush is just, I mean, it's just full of them. I don't know if you can come in and take a close up. I mean, here, here, just give it to me real quick. And take a close-up of that down there. I mean, it is just... And kudos to this camera for catching the light. Because it is really getting dark out here. I'm sorry if you can't see much. But I'm going to reap my rewards from growing these peppers on this side. And I'll bring it back when I go to the other side. Yeah, man. Here we go. At, uh, at the end of my bed, I want to bring you in for this. Is all the... Uh, these are my orange habaneros. I forget what the actual name of them are. They look so, so small when I planted them. But boy, are they putting off some fruit right now. Oh, let me get you. There you go. That's going to make some beautiful hot sauce. And here is my sweet potato trellis. As you can see, probably need some water. It's blossoming right now. I need it to get pollinated. That one's blossoming. I'm gonna have to start watering them a little bit more. And then there it is, my glorious dragon fruit. From the tiny, tiny, tiny little three inch little cacti that it was, it looks like a dragon's something. Okay, so let's go around and we'll look at the rest of if I can get through here. Oh, it's a jungle. Oh, if only, if only, if only. Okay. Whew. So now we're on the other side of the bed. What's that, Nicole? What about these? Um, which ones? The green? No, leave them alone. Okay. Yeah, only pick ones with color like this bad boy right here. I kind of left my wife to actually pick the vegetables so I could videograph because she was not enthused at all about holding a camera. And then, oh, wow, wow, what is that? I don't know. 
but there's a bunch. We're all back there. Which ones am I allowed to pick? Uh, leave, well, you can harvest that one if you want, but try for the reddest ones. That's like a day away from being picked, but these orange ones are massive. I wear a size 8 glove, bang, and then that one here. Oh, it's got some brown spots. I ain't worried. Make sure, oh, make sure there ain't no buggy in there. We'll eat it. I don't care. We'll just cut it off. These guys look suspiciously hot. Especially when they completely ripen. And uh, I bet my niece $20 to eat one. And she took my $20, ate it. Find out it's a sweet pepper. Holy moly, Nicole. Where are my little chopper things? Oh, you got them? Can I have them for a second or do you want to take this one? Okay, and there we are. Can, can you sneak your hand in under there so when I clip it, it doesn't just fall on the ground? That big guy right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be beautiful in a cheesesteak. I see that cheesesteak in my future right now. Is this the right time? What's that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you don't pick it. it now, I think it's going to yep, go big. Take it. What oh, about this one? Yeah, take that one too. Yeah? Sure. It'll change. I'll take that one. Whew. All right, and that one too, put it in the bucket. Oh, pick these orange ones up front. And there's more in this the back. One's bad. What's that? This one, the one in front is bad. Why is it bad? You feel it is gross, it's got soft spots everywhere. That's not bad. That's not bad, clip that. You can cut that, uh, oh, all right, clip it, let's get rid of it. My neighbor's gonna have some beautiful peppers next year. I'm a bad man. The one right in the middle? There's a couple down here, see them? I don't know how good they look. Oh, there's that one, yeah, that looks good. It's got spots too. We can deal with spots, you cut them out. That's why we grow organic, right? Mm -hmm. there's, there's like two down there, two or three down there. And this one no good. No bien? Yeah. And this one no good either. Oh, we're alright. Dang it. That's what I get for not coming out here sooner. Probably a day or two late. What's what about this one? It's I'm small. Say it. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna leave that. Ooh, what about that? Look at oh my god! Look at that, Nicole! It was right next door. Holy crap! You gotta pick all of those. I know we need more. Here we are outside. We just found a plethora of red peppers here on this side that my wife is just taking down <laughs> uh, at the handful right now. It's So there you have it guys, We, me and my wife went out there for a late night harvest, it was getting dark out there, that's why we're in my uh, dining room slash breakfast nook, and as you can see, we got a tremendous amount of peppers from the garden, we're going to have a lot of fun with that, and my wife kept on getting distracted and still picking tomatoes off of her vines that are still producing right now, and my glorious hot 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 habaneros i know a lot of this is red but uh so we picked a whole bunch of them and then i just said oh you know what i haven't checked on the eggplant in a long time so i went to check on the eggplant and i did have a couple they're not huge these are the japanese or the uh long eggplant they're, they're really tiny to be honest with you and a lot of them on the plant are still very yellow i did a test pick of my beets 
Um, they're still not the size that I would like, so I'm going to let them go, but they are still looking beautiful and very edible. I did another test pick of my carrots. As you can see, they're growing very well um, as well, And uh, but I am going to leave them. I did get two zucchinis. One that's going to be very good to eat. The other one that you're going to have to get creative to eat. I, I know a lot of people say they don't get tough. Uh, I, I don't mind them tough, but some people do. I'll eat a zucchini this size, no problem, but I am going to give this away to a friend at work. And then I got another squash, If for whatever reason, the name of this squash is eluding me. It's so stupid. I know I've eaten it so many times, uh, but whatever. If you know what this squash is, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, one more nice little rainbowed pepper, maybe picked a little early, but it does have some soft spots, so I'm glad we get to salvage that. And then we found this little cache of all of these peppers that I don't know if they're hot or not. Should I take a bite out of one? I hate hot things. Mmm. Ooh, okay. No, that's a delicious pepper. It does have some heat, but it's real mild. It's like is really low on that scale of heat. This is very tolerable. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining me on this episode of Garden State Growing. I know I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. There is good reasons for that, and you will see that coming up very soon. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure that you subscribe or follow me on Instagram and friend me on Facebook. And this way, even if I'm not putting out videos, you still know what's going on in the garden. You still get to see a lot of the harvest. Thank you so much and have a great evening.